Hey up everybody, I'm moving on to the next part of my gas burner project that I'm doing for me uh, loco, steam loco. It's not mine, it's for a friend really, but if it works I might end up making one myself. Uh, part one you'll have seen where I've stripped it all down and shown you all the components. Part two I made the, the new valve for, for on off valve um, which was missing on this burner. Uh, so in this part I'm going to make an adapter to fit to the gas line and then we'll take it from there to see if I can uh, actually get it powered up with some gas. So uh, watch this space and we'll continue with this then. I'm just going to get it all assembled back up in this part and give it a trial run on some gas then. So if, you find, if you've been finding it useful, this project that I'm doing, uh, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe, I'd appreciate that. Uh, to connect it to the to the actual gas valve I've just used a bit of copper pipe and a T-junction I've put a pressure, pressure gauge on and a pipe to my gas cylinder and then I can just adjust my gas cylinder to different various pressures I've got this burner then attached up to my gas bottle now I'm using propane to start with and I've just been checking for leaks um, so what I've got on here then is a adjustable pressure gauge regulator, should I say. Uh, I think, I'm not quite sure that it's an old one this, I think it's uh, something like 0 to 1 bar, which is 0 to 14 psi. And I've got it set on the, on the near the lower end of the setting at something like 4 psi. I'll show you on gauge in a minute over on burner. I'm just checking the, this for leaks, that's okay. I've got no leaks on my propane, I've double checked all my joints and uh, they're fine. Uh, I just want to re-emphasise this, I'm not endorsing anybody to go and make one of these or even couple it up to any gas because it can be dangerous. This burner is just a bit of an experiment which I'm uh, doing at my own risk. It came with missing parts. I've never seen it running before. The chap that bought it's never seen it running. I've made the missing parts myself. I've coupled it up myself. Uh, you know, I know my limitations. You can't be too careful when you're messing about with this. So, yeah, I'm not endorsing it to be done. I'll just take the camera off at stand a minute and show you this pressure gauge because I'm in a bit of a tight spot in my workshop here. When I've got the regulator fully open it goes up to something like 14 psi. 
So it must be an, a zero to one bar regulator that I've got. Anyway, I've got it set at approximately three, between three and four PSR. Right, the moment of truth, will it work? I've got the gas on the valve now turned fully on. Uh, that's burning really good that, there's, there's very little yellow flame in that. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it's, bur it's burning nice, a nice blue flame. Yeah, that's certainly giving some heat off. Uh, you probably can't see it very good in this uh, in this light. I'll just go and turn the light off. Yeah, that's working. That seems to be working fine. Um, I mean, obviously, I can I can play around with jets, and I can also play around with distance that the jet is uh, coming into the um, air intake side. That's probably why these screws are quite long, but it seems to be working okay. Well, that were on propane, I'll go and try it on butane. Okay, then I've got the butane uh, coupled up to the burner now. Uh, the pressure on the gauge is the same as what was on the propane. The only problem is uh, with butane, it don't like cold weather very much. And in my workshop at the moment, it's, uh, it's only just above freezing. So we'll give it a try and see what happens. I'm not quite sure if the camera's picking that up, but on this butane, a considerable amount of yellow flames, which means it's not combusting very, very good. Now I don't know whether that's down to the uh, temperature in my workshop with the butane, or whether it's to do with the actual burner itself. But it did burn a lot. Well, it burnt perfectly on propane. It's just showing a bit of a yellow flame on this. I may have to uh, wait till temperature goes up and try it again with butane, or I might have to perhaps adjust the jets for it to run on butane.
I think on my next video then for this then I'll uh, I'll get the loco fired up on it and try it out. I can't just do it at this moment in time because I've got a bit of maintenance work to do on loco. I've got my hand pump to to do something with. I'm still messing about with this injector and something else I can't rem remember off the top of my head. Uh, but as soon as I get them done, uh, we'll, we'll have it fired up. I'm, I'm juggling one or two jobs around at the moment. So, <clears throat> if you found that useful, oh by the way, you can see how cold it is in here. So anyway, I digress. So if you found that useful, enjoyable, informative, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe, I'd appreciate that. And uh, I'll catch you next time then, so uh, thanks for watching then. Bye for now.